Now, why is this be talented thought actress trying to tell me what to do once again with my political vote, my political decisions? We have Jennifer Lawrence here, another actress of Hollyweird, being employed to push some political agenda that I'm sure is in favor of the dim party, the dim-witted party that Hollywood typically represents. And the one thing that just stands out to me is that here you see in the highlighted text, which is subtitling, subtitling what she's saying, it says, and the outcome of our elections are not maneuvered and manipulated. So that indicates to me that the outcome of our elections are maneuvered and manipulated. Because whatever these jackasses say, I think the opposite of. Because they have nothing but ill intent for the rest of society. Now, Jennifer Lawrence is this actress that, you know, has some decent looks. Um, she's most famous for being a part of the fappening that happened a couple of years ago. And she's also famous for her close relationship with Harvey Weinstein, indicating once again how a lot of these entertainers make it in Hollywood. You know, they're willing to play the casting couch game. They're willing to play the seduce or flirting game. But then, once they have a career for themselves and it's time to take someone out, you know, to sacrifice them, to show to the public that they're doing something about something. And... Recently, Harvey Weinstein was one of those targets. Now, they probably targeted Harvey Weinstein be not because he was a sexual predator, because they housed those in Hollywood with no problem. I think the main reason why they targeted him is because he was just an asshole that people just genuinely dislike. I mean, they didn't want to protect him anymore like they protect the other predators, and so they went after him. But Jennifer Lawrence had a relationship with him. Uh, and she's a prime example of why you don't listen to these bitches. You don't listen to these entertainers whatsoever. Because they associate and affiliate with predators all the time. Just so they can have a career for themselves. And when you're not a stellar actress like a Meryl Streep then you have to do just a little bit extra extra to get jobs in Hollywood. And I believe Jennifer Lawrence was one of those actresses that did the little extra to get jobs in Hollywood. And after all, she can just blame the man and play a victim, and she'll be supported. But yeah, whatever she's pushing, it has something to do with some... Senate vote. I mean, you can check the link out if you're curious about it. But, you know, I saw this, and this is from a week ago now. She posted this June 10th. But it's still relevant to the point that I'm consistently pointing out that Hollywood and politics are one and the same. They are connected. They feed each other's industries. And that's why it's paramount to get these people out of our lives by defunding and boycotting any and everything that these people do. I mean, because how dare they put these court gestures of society before us and have them try to push anything serious? I mean, they shouldn't be taken serious. They they aren't serious people. They get play they get paid to play pretend and to pretty much lounge on movie 
sets and TV sets and have on-set affairs with each other as they move on from set to set across the country and across the globe and all the other stuff that they do, you know, recreationally. So these are the last people anyone should be taking seriously. But, you know, there are plenty of idol worshippers who don't mind being told what to do by Hollywood actresses. And all I have to say about people like that, leave them to fund Hollywood. <laughs> leave them to uphold that industry. But I feel like all sane people, all people who are ch tired of being lectured by these morons, they just simply need to remove their money from this industry altogether permanently. Because Jennifer Lawrence, all she should be doing is working on the fappening part two, three, four, and so on. Because that's all she's good for. You know, some fappening material. But yeah, here we have another Hollywood moron trying to push politics.